morning, everybody. It's Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty good. It's morning. It's early morning. And sorry about the glare. I have my overhead lights on um, because it's very foggy out and very just overcast. Blech. So anyways, guess what? It is time for our design team challenge. And this is from Gina Aaron's design team. And the challenge is to create something that we will use in our planners. So I've pulled out these three sets of stamps. So I'm going to be using the three sets of stamps from Gina's. I'm also going to be using, this is a digital download um, of just plain words. Okay, there's two of them on her Etsy store, which I will link in the video below. And one of them has a background on it, and the other one is just plain like this. So I printed this out. Okay, so we're going to use those. The other thing we're going to use is these are either jelly prints or painted papers that I've played around with. Um, this is that printing where you take two pieces of glass. Uh, this I actually just did a couple days ago. I was just playing with paint. I just wanted to play and swap around paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using these papers. All right. Um, and like I said, it's morning. I hope I don't dump this. This cup says, I'll love you forever. And on the front, there's two owls. Isn't that cute? My mom got that for me for my birthday this year. So that's my coffee. All right, let's uh, get to this. Let me grab some scissors. Actually, no, I have some scissors right here. I'm going to use some of these. These are the scissors you can buy really inexpensively at one of the craft stores, and they do different edges. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some edges. And what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to make journaling spots. That was my thought um, for this project. <laughs> my husband just sent me a text and he says, I just saw Halloween decorations on a house. Well, if you know, I'm, I'm recording this ahead of time, <laughs> and it's not Halloween yet. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so I decided I'm going to use these to make some journaling spots. All right, I want to do them in different, different edges, different sizes. I don't care if my edges are perfect. They don't need to be. These are going in my private journal. Come on, go up there. Let's try it again. Huh. You know, it's crazy. Halloween hasn't got... I'll be honest with you. Right now, it's the end of September. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like that. I like to do my stuff ahead of time, but that's okay. Um, you know, so Halloween's ways away. And I went into... I think it was... I don't know. It doesn't matter what store. I think it was Hobby Lobby, but all the Christmas crap is... Out. It drives me crazy. <laughs> Let's get through Thanksgiving, then put the Christmas stuff up. You know, this, uh, don't, I, I better get off my soapbox on this because I just, you know, Christmas used to be my most favorite holiday. Now, mm -mm. nope. It's so commercialized and it's just, it's just crazy. So I have no use for it anymore. <laughs> it sounds awful, doesn't it? It's still my favorite holiday, but I just don't like the fact that it is so commercialized. You know, what happened to, um, you know, the best bet is, or the best memories of getting together with your family and having a nice meal and just enjoying, you know, the, the holiday, enjoying the family time, that kind of stuff. No, it's all commercialized now. I like this set of scissors. See the edge it gave on that? I like that. So anyways, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to cut out a bunch of journaling um, uh, journaling spots. And of course, since I am cutting them out, I'm not going to stop at two or three. So let me go ahead. I'm going to cut some more out and we'll go on step two. We'll be right back. All right, so I have a bunch of pieces cut out. Some of them are just squares. Um, they don't, they're not perfect. As you can see, it's completely way off. That's fine. These are for in my personal journal. They don't have to be symmetrical. So um, here they are. So now our next step is we're actually going to take, I'm going to take, start out with black archival ink. 
and I'm going to start with this stamp set and what I'm going to do is just get some of Gina's stamps on some of these as backgrounds okay just here and there let's see let me hang on I got stuff in the way here we go I got my little two inches of space where I can create it drives me crazy crazy all right so I'm just going to start by getting some of her images on maybe a few of these backgrounds okay they don't have to be all over the place just a few here and there so let me go ahead and play around with this um, actually you know what I can just fast forward through this right unless you really painstakingly want to see me sit here and do this the whole time which I don't think you want to do. Let me bring up some of the lighter ones. Okay, this one I want. It's so fun to come up with different creative ways how to use things. I enjoy challenges. I enjoy the challenge of, like for example, the pick 10 that I've been doing for the Art Junkie. Um, you know, it, it sends you in a direction that it makes to me it makes me open up my mind and think more creatively and think about what I'm putting together I really like this arrow stamp can you tell I like it look at that it's not cute we haven't even added a word to it yet Isn't that cute so let me go ahead and play around with these and I'll be right back okay so I've got stamps on all these little pieces that I used and I only used that one stamp set which was fine um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some white paint this is a um, it's chroma a2 heavy body acrylic and it's a titanium white now you can do this with gesso um, you can do it pretty much with any color really you don't have to use strictly white and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a spot where I can journal you don't have to do the whole tag you don't have to you know do it in a perfect square and then what I'm gonna do is set that aside to dry so again all these may be different I may put just one line on. I may put a couple. This one I'm going to try to do kind of like this. Kind of in a square. Now you can also do this with your scrap paper. Um, you can do it with jelly prints, which is what I've got some of here. You can do it with regular tags. Um, if you want to do regular tags, it's you perfect for it. Okay. And again these are for things in my planner so what I'll do is I'll have a little envelope in my planner and then as I need to write something down I'll just you know pick out one of these just trying to make that one look kind of cool see isn't that cute all right so let me finish up painting some of these um, we'll let them dry and then we'll come back and we'll finish decorating them with some of the words and probably some um, Posca pens just to give them a little bit of doodad. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the whole bottom of this one because I can. Right? No, there's no rules. Remember that. In any of this art that we do, there are no rules. If you decide you want to do them on old cardboard, go for it. You know, if you don't want to use them in your planner and you want to use them in your journals, go for it. This one I'm going to put a round spot right here. And I'm going to put a round spot right here. Breaking the rules. Because there are no rules. All right, yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit here, a little bit here, 
little bit here and a little bit here look at that isn't it cute that's gonna look so neat in a in my planner or in a journal all right here's another one uh, this one I kind of like the color I really don't you know what this one I'm gonna leave as is reason being is because I can use a white pen to write on that this one here I'm gonna leave as is because I like it the way it is this one we're gonna put some white on it. I really like the idea of doing it halfway so we're gonna do that with this one that one there okay let me go ahead I'm gonna finish these up and then we'll be right back all right so I'm gonna show you those in just a second what I've gotten done um, the journaling tags because right now they're dry and I'll show you those in a second but in the meantime I've got some leftover paint here um, get the right brush here um, I've got some of the leftover paint that I use for the journaling and I don't like to waste the paint so this came from um, my one journal I showed a while back which has I, I stick down all of my extra scraps and pieces on the paper that comes in the um, like in orders that you get from Dick Blick or that kind of thing I save all those papers I make them into a great big book and then I put down scraps. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I want to use up this paint um, on these. And these will either become tags, they may become postcards to send out. It just really depends on what I'm in the mood for. But right now I just want to use up this paint. So that's what I'm doing. So you have like a little bonus here. I don't want to... Oh, it's black. Into gray. I don't want to waste this paint that's sitting here on my palette, on my palette, on my desk. So we're just going to keep using it. So I just added some color to that. We'll let that set aside and dry. This one here, I kind of like that. Let's go around the edges. We're going to go around the edges. Maybe with this gray. Okay, just using up that paint. Then, like I said, it can be used for a card or, or you know, a, a postcard or a tag or punch it out into flowers. or I mean, there's so many uses for this kind of stuff. Don't I don't throw anything away. I always use it. All right, so that paint's gone, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. We'll let those dry. Let me get this mess cleaned up, and then we're going to continue making journaling note spots. Be right back. All right, so I cleaned up the, the uh, paint off my table. So here's the journaling blocks. Uh, let me just... All right, some of them I did do something to, other ones I didn't. Um, I decided to bring some black paint out and play around with, you know, putting some edges on some of them. Some of them I didn't. But these are all going to be used in my journal. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take Gina's um, words here. And we're actually going to put some on. Let's just take a corner and work with that. Alright, so I've got a corner here. And I am just going to cut them out. And we're going to glue some on. That's uh, just so. Where's my glue, 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 glue? There is my glue. Here's my glue. Also, this is just school glue that I put in a fine liner. Um, I like using it this way. I have a lot more control on how much glue comes out. So I'm just going to glue this on here. Oops, get back here, you. Alright, I'm going to do this with a bunch of the different words randomly on these tags. 
Uh, this one is Imagine. And then what I will do is I will take some pens and probably go around doodle on the, you know, around the words and on the card a little bit. Don't want it on that one. No. Let's put it, let's put it right here. Put imagine. Journal. I could have got a smaller pair of scissors for this, but let's see. We're just going to put this one on there. So you get the idea of what I'm doing. So let me put a few more of these down, and then we'll come back and we'll do some doodling around them, and we'll be all set. Let me, I'll be right back. All right, so now what I've done is I went ahead and put these all together. Um, I have not done any doodling on them yet. That will be my next step. And honestly, I think, hmm, no, I'm going to do it now. Um, I used all the words from Gina's Etsy download. Okay. And like I said, these are the ones without um, the background on those. So here they are. I just wanted to show you open journey and I just put one word on each because like I said these are going to go in my personal journal and I like the idea you know that I just I have a not really a prompt but I have that word if I'm feeling something that day I can take this out and write on it with white pen and it'll work out perfect in my journal patience adventure imagine journal Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I actually have to go over to my desk and pick up my gel pens, and now I'm just going to doodle with them. We'll be right back. Okay, so just to give you an idea what I'm going to do with these, and I don't know as I'm going to do all of them because I may do this while I'm journaling with them. Um, I've just got a bunch of my jelly roll pens and markers and glitter pens and that kind of stuff here, and basically... This one, I just took, I didn't realize I didn't have the camera on. I just took the pen and went around the journal, and then I took a little bit of this highlighter. This is a Bible High Glider. Okay, and then just put a little bit on the corners just to give us some blue. Actually, I want to put a little bit more there. And just smudged it around. Okay. I just kind of like the way that looks with the colors on the background. Uh, so that's what I did to this one. This one, the only thing I did is I took a black Jelly Roll pen. I went around Imagine and then just put some doodles on the blocks. And again, I will probably do most of this stuff when I'm actually journaling with them. So let's just, let's see, we have Adventure here. And again, I don't want to do a whole lot because I want to do it when I'm journaling. So... Same thing with patience. You know, maybe I'll go in with a uniball. Just to give it a little bit of a decoration. It doesn't have to be anything special or crazy. You just play. All right, so there's one for patience. Um, but this is what I'll do with these journaling spots. So to finish this up, what I would love to say is please check out Gina's Etsy shop. I'm going to bring you back out a little bit. Um, in the description box below, uh, definitely grab up some of her stamps if you can, as well as some of the digital downloads. They're a lot of fun to play with. And see what you can come up with this month for in your journal. Uh, I would love to see your ideas. I'd love to see what you, what you do with them. So as always, be kind. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And before I say my last line, um, definitely check out the other artists on the uh, Gina Aaron's design team. Their videos, they will also be linked in the description box below. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. I answer all my comments. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.